program two years ago, and they knew about my foundation and everything we do in the, the cities and our community gardens, and how I've really just tried to focus on helping people become makers mm -hmm. and stay makers and have the opportunity to do that. And so they asked me if I would, you know, get the word out about it. And I was so happy to be part of the program because, you know, working with nonprofits and community groups and neighborhoods and schools for years, it's so hard to get money to do anything. You might get a five hundred dollar, one thousand dollars, maybe two thousand, but fifteen thousand, ten thousand, five thousand. This is a lot of money that they give back to these communities. So I was really excited to do it. You know, everyone's got to work together in that. When you have it tight community or even you know out here it's a little more rural but it's it's really everyone you know caring about every everybody that's in your community and giving back and that's I love that and I always tell people you will never have a dip, bad day volunteering at anything so you know if people are going through job changes or life changes or anything is to get out find something you love doing and go volunteer at it you know people that will work with these kids all day long this will probably be the best day they've had all year guarantee it <laughs> I think it's really important that we we all know that creativity doesn't stop after you go to like middle school. And you know, and a child is an artist until somebody tells them they're not. And I think that's really important that we focus on that. It's really important that schools get kids outside. I was so excited that this group won because they were designing an outdoor classroom. And for me, we have so many issues with kids in middle school and junior high. And I keep telling you know people we educators meet and. It's because we're trapping them inside classrooms when they can get outside and they can, you know, for me, I can't be inside a building all day. I would lose my mind. So that's that's what's really important for us to keep expressing to people that just because you're 32 or 42 or 72 or 92, it doesn't mean that creativity has to stop just because you had to get, you know, a quote unquote real job. It still can go. And that's been the cool thing about the makerspace is people that, you know, are accountants or attorneys or you know, all sorts of, you know, traditional jobs where you're just cookie cutter stuck in one routine all day. They're getting able to get these creative juices flowing in and they love it. And some of the greatest artisans right now that are out are people that if we hadn't had these spaces, wouldn't have the opportunity to go out and find that. I, I think that this is going to get kids really excited. Kids want to be outside. Teachers want to be outside. And I think that this is just an inspiration for kids. It's also an inspiration for these kids to do well in school, to be a part of this STEM program, to really focus on like, oh, this isn't just, you know, some XYZ extracurricular thing, or this isn't something like that. When kids see that other kids are getting the opportunity to come outside and like do these and be more hands-on, that's what they want to do. And I think that that's going to see a big difference in this program here.